Well, hello there and welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider 2. Jamie Clough Gaming here. <laughs> um, this is part 24 of 25. Which is home sweet home. Um, and yeah, the cutscene, I would have left it on the end of the previous level, but technically that cutscene is the start of the next level. Even though the cutscene starts in China. <laughs> and of course the next level is Lara's home in... In, um... Um... Where is it again? No, I forget. Uh, <laughs> somewhere down south. Uh... <laughs> Oh no, forget it. Somewhere down south. Hmm. That automatically means that she's all the opportunities and the wherewithal that I could only dream of, you know. So, this level is a shorty. Um, and the. I've already got the Dino Zion. You can't use that as a weapon, unfortunately, because it's an artifact. And though she probably could use it as a weapon, she wouldn't. Because it might have unintended effects. So what you've got to do is open this cupboard, locate Laura's shotgun, which I believe is the only weapon you get in this level unless you cheat. For more, which obviously I don't. <laughs> well, I say it obviously, but. Yeah, I wouldn't, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is the last level of the game. However, um, there is... Um, I have yet to explore the home as of yet, so to speak, even though I have recorded me explored it. So you're going to get a level in the home that's part of the levels and the separate daytime home level. Um, which is a lot more relaxed, obviously, than this one. And there are no men to fight in that one. So, um, so yeah, this is the last of the 18 levels. Um, by no means am I actually obligated to show you the home level. But since most Let's Plays do show the home level as well as the levels, I thought it would be a bit dumb not to. Do you know what I mean? So... <laughs> I don't always play the home level when I'm just doing a playthrough that's not being recorded. But a lot of the time I actually do, so why you'd do a playthrough and not include the uh, the training Croftman level, I don't know, because you can show that off in literally no time at all, so mm -mm. Mm. So <laughs> And I believe Tomb Raider 2 is unique in that it's the only Tomb Raider in that you have a, a level in the mansion as well as the mana level, which... Uh, I believe you visit the, the mansion a few times in Tomb Raider Underworld, but you never actually have a, like a, a chilled out version of the mana in that game. So... that doesn't count. <laughs> um... I'm trying to think, yeah, you don't actually have another level in the manner where the men come after you, it's unique to Tomb Raider 2. So that's one thing that Tomb Raider 2 has in it that the others don't. Um, and the layout of the mansion is exactly the same in both Home Sweet Home and the Croft Manor, so the only difference really is that it's night in this level, which adds a bit of atmosphere. And... Also, you get a nighttime outfit in this level, where you get a sports type outfit in the daytime version. <laughs> but what I like about this level is you can actually explore all the areas, in spite of the fact that you're by no means obligated to do so. Because as soon as you kill all the men, the level ends. So there are no key items as such, and there are no secrets either. 
as I've already explained, the last of the secrets. We're in the floating islands level, actually, a couple of levels back. Because that was the last of the proper levels, really. So, <laughs> there's 16 major levels, two small levels, and of course the separate uh, craft mana, which is optional and not, not required for game completion. So, um, that's the bonus level. So, in all, you've got 19 levels. And uh, that goes up to 21 for Tomb Raider 3. And you can bet I've already recorded me doing all those. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life. Um, 2020 already feels like it's gone for too long. Um, in a way, it has done, but especially since they've called the Formula 1 season off and coronavirus has restricted your movement. It really does feel like the end of the world. Um, but never mind. Because it is in a way, I guess. Because when the SARS was out 16 years ago, it didn't spread over to Europe as badly and there was a vaccine for it, I believe. So it didn't really spiral out of control as much as the, the coronavirus thing has, unfortunately. So, I mean, fortunately at the time. Um... That said, I'm used to spending long periods of time at home. Um, I'm not really an outdoorsy person, if I'm honest. <laughs> so it's not that bad, but it is a bit of an inconvenience. <laughs> no, I can see is my head floating around. <laughs> it's not as bad as I used to record with my mobile phone. I had my reflection on the recording, but. Uh, it is a tad distracting, and what I also like about the levels, you can put the music on. Unfortunately, she only seems to have, like, one song, and that's it. Um, and it's the same song in... That's interesting. Oh, I did a cut because I was standing there for too long. That's why it cut out a bit there. It's edited, and it was 25 minutes long. Originally, and after editing, it's 17 minutes long, so it wasn't that much to cut, in all honesty. That said, 8 minutes is quite a sizable chunk in a shortish level anyway. I considered um, putting this in with the Dragon's Lair level, given that that's only 13 minutes long. That would mean half an hour long, but decide against it because they're separate entities in my book so I have two levels in the same video mm. however <laughs> with Tomb Raider 4 the way that is that might happen because there are levels where I have to actually go back and forth through the levels so it all becomes one interconnected thing that's quite a way off though um, just gonna have to wait until we got Tomb Raider 2 finished, and we have to get Tomb Raider 3, but I can't wait to start the commentary for Tomb Raider 3 because I genuinely think that with more inspiring levels generally, I'll probably have slightly more inspiring commentary, though it won't sound too much different, I guess. Um, but I do like this tune, if you recognise it, you might have heard it before in the Venice level, that's because you have It's the Venice Violins, and it comes on when you're on the boat. <laughs> no boats and Croft Manor. That would have been a good idea to have a boating section. She was rich enough to have her own canal and, and so on. You could blast about in a boat. But they never thought of that. However, in Tomb Raider 3, there's a quad bike track in the manor, so. Arguably, that's just as fun. And I don't want to tell you how many hours I've wasted trying to set new lap records on that when I was younger. And more recently. <laughs> um, but I think the only way you could beat my time is actually by cheating, so I was quite proud of that. Um, so I actually got the most out of the out of the uh, quad bike. <laughs> um, that said, that said, I might not have done. Um, mm, I should have done the amount of times I've actually played it. Oh, God. This 
sound was very loud on my soul, oh my god. So yeah, literally this is just killing men. And that's it. Did explore the the mansion when you're doing it, but yeah, these are the remainder of Bartoli's men. Um these just have a score to settle since you completely uh, got rid of Bartoli in the, in the dragon's lair by stealing the dagger. These men avenge his death, mafioso style, rather unsuccessfully, I might add, but they're at least uh, determined. And I like the black fans with the red uh, symbolism on. It's a nice touch. And there's dogs as well. <laughs> and you notice there's a fish in this version of the well, in Tomb Raider 2, there's a fish in a manner. In Tomb Raider 3, it gets replaced with a horse for some reason. <laughs> and given that Tomb Raider 3 is only one year later, where did the fish go? Why did you decide not to have the fish anymore? Because I actually prefer the fish from a stylistic point of view. But uh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Also, apart from the fact there's an alarm, which kind of is the atmospheric soundtrack, in the manor. There's no real atmospheric soundtrack, so to speak, in the manor. And I believe that like, Tomb Raider 3 is the only game that has an atmospheric soundtrack in the manor. Not that I don't include that terrible soundtrack in Tomb Raider Legend and Anniversary Manor. That's just stupid back in music. That's not an atmospheric soundtrack. That's looping music. Whereas in Tomb Raider 3, the cool thing about that is if you, you can go to an area in a level, you can actually bring the soundtrack of the level you've just been in back to a manor. So it can change from <laughs> India, London, Nevada. That's really cool. I don't know of many other games that would have that feature, or if any at all. But uh, <laughs> So, yes. What's really cool is that you can actually go in the maze in the dark. It should be noted, you can probably still open that door in the dark and all sorts, but I didn't want to do that. Because <laughs> I can barely navigate through the maze in the daytime, never mind when it's night. So, you still haven't used flares, but the flares in Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3 aren't very good. It's not until Tomb Raider 4 <laughs> that the glow stick flares, you actually have a useful flare that lasts for a respectable amount of time, so, <laughs> yeah, hmm. a lot of people probably prefer the, the old-fashioned flares, but I don't, I prefer the glow stick, so thank you for asking, all the flares and one of the flashback levels in Legend were some of the best ones, it's just a shame they didn't appear ever again after that. Um, I used to fret the fish as Spudnik, because I think that was a good name for that fish. Which is pretty sad now, and I don't know. <laughs> I think I've already said that before, actually, have I? Well, I might not have done. Oh dear. Just embarrassed myself in front of literally no people whatsoever. Uh, and if uh, one of the things that I like about Shimura 2 is that. There's a variation of men to fight in different areas, like, for example, the masked men and the men with the bats. And in some levels, the snow levels, the men. And here's the last. Um, he's the boss. It's the same guy, basically, from um, the Opera House, reincarnated. He's come back to life, so you have to kill him again. Might not be the same guy, it might just be someone that looks exactly like him. And there you go, that's it, you see. Don't you think you've seen enough? Right, I'm back briefly. Play the footage. 
Yeah, so, um, right, yeah, this is just the credits, so, I said just the credits, it's the end of the game, we've completed it, huzzah, but, as I might have already said, there's another part after this on Tomb Raider 2, and that will actually be the last part. <laughs> I could have done the mana before I did the game, I did that with Tomb Raider 1, um, with Team Raider 2, I decided to do the mana after the game for some reason. There's no real benefit to when you decide to do the mana. Indeed, I could have done it mid-game, even. Um, but it doesn't make a difference, really, so... As long as you don't confuse the mana level with the main levels. And if you do... I'm not going to complain too much, you know what I mean, I mean... Well, it's great that you get the, um, the skidoo, the quad bike music, on the credits. But the credits are much longer in Tomb Raider 2 than they are in the first game. And you do get nice, um, Lara Croft images on them, on them as well, so... They're doing various different things, and that was all really cool stuff, and... You can tell a lot of work has gone into the game. <laughs> if they put half as much effort, just half, as much effort into gaming as they used to back in the day, today, my god, you know, the game was, games would be so much more memorable these days, but it's all about money now. Unfortunately, just like films, that's why most of the films you see these days aren't very good. Um, Having said that, I think the film industry always was about money primarily and nothing else. That's not a bad position to be in. Because you can make a lot of money, but there you go. <laughs> it should be about content as well. Alright.